So we got a teaser drop of Transformers Rise of the Beasts from the folks over at Paramount and Hasbro. Keep in mind, this is a Transformers G1 channel. So I'm approaching this review from a G1 perspective and as a general movie going fan. So we've seen our fair share of CG apes over the years. Planet of the Apes, King Kong. There's pretty much nothing you can do with a CG ape that we haven't seen before. From a design perspective, I think Optimus Primal looks okay, though I'm not particularly a Beast Wars fan. I think he does look a little bit too clean, though I know this render may not be final. Prime gets his introduction. My feeling about this design is that the silver drop visors on his upper chest are too big. His mouth looks a little weird, which I'll talk about again later. His obliques look exposed like he's begging Megatron to cut him there again and his arm gun looks too big the transformation of Bumblebee seems really slow it feels like it's half Michael Bay and half fan animation the five car holograms is cool it feels similar to when Mirage created two extra holograms of himself in the Netflix trilogy though Holograms was really Hound's trick. I hope we get to see the traditional Mirage disappearing and reappearing trick as well. So I hear Mirage is going to get the Bumblebee treatment as the bot that hangs with the main human character. I think that's a good idea. Bumblebee's pretty much oversaturated at this point. Unfortunately, we get the signature Shy LaBeouf scream. This is probably an unfinished VFX shot, but the car is too clear and Cheetor is too blurry. Air Razor, damaging public property. Speaking of Air Razor, I heard that Michelle Yeoh was going to voice her. They better not give Air Razor a Chinese sword, I swear. They have to stop appropriating this sort of kung fu thing every time they use an Asian actor. RC and Wheeljack. It's interesting because in the first draft of Transformers the movie 1986, RC and Wheeljack were originally going to have several scenes together, with Wheeljack slowly gaining his trust in her. I wonder if they're going to do something like that here. I do think this action sequence looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, this face sculpt looks too smooth. Here's a comparison with the Bumblebee movie version. I think the Bumblebee movie version is the better design. Bumblebee gets impaled viciously here by Scourge, and we get a Scourge face reveal. People are saying his face looks like Tarn. Here's Rhinox, and either his tongue or he's eating a snake or something. Here we get a close-up of Prime's face again. So it doesn't really look like a face. It looks like a mouth plate under another mouth plate. So I'm not really sure what they're going for there. And obligatory all-out battle scene. Optimus Primal robot mode reveal. I wonder if the little girl is going to bond with RC. Feels kind of Earth Spark-like, but okay. This transformation has much more personality than the Bumblebee transformation earlier. But Mirage's robot mode looks like a Decepticon soldier from the Michael Bay movies. He's just all gray and doesn't really have a sort of presence. I wish they'd gone with something more bright. So my thoughts overall. I always give a chance to all new Transformers shows and movies. As a G1 fan, there isn't much to sink my teeth into with this teaser. Assuming Rise of the Beast is the first movie of a trilogy, and this trilogy is going to be all about Unicron, well, we already have a great movie about Unicron from 1986. Now, if this trilogy is about G1 and Beast Wars and Unicron with time travel, then it's just a rehash of the Netflix trilogy. I mean, I'm excited to see new reveals in the full trailer next year and toy reveals for this movie, but count me out for the theatrical run of this movie.
Thank you to my Patreon supporters who helped make all of this content possible.